Hello, LEGO friends, Matt from Brooks Brooks here. And today it's time for the December 2023 Neva Realm update. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, my apologies for the slight delay in the release of this video. Um, but I had a few other things going on over the course of the last week or two and getting some stuff out there. But please enjoy! Hey, welcome back everybody. And in the December update, the focus will be on the addition of the uh, Magista Wizard Tower and the Line at Barracks. But there's been some changes in the layout to accommodate that. So let me go ahead and pull back here and let's take a look at everything that's been done. Moved around. So first of all, you can see I've moved the farm back up front. And I think this will probably end up being the permanent home for it. Um, just the way that things work out. And across the river, the peasant village as well. These are probably the smaller things that don't obscure views quite as much. And it's easier to put these up front. Plus, it doesn't really require a lot of other things to them. They're just kind of here as scenes in and of themselves. Um which allows me to put other things in to create larger scenes amongst all the different factions and things like that. So of course, as I noted, the focus here for this month is the Lion Knight Barracks and the Magista Wizard Tower. So we can see it in place here, and we've actually got a little wizard co co-fab going on here. So Magisto, another Magisto, or actually I'm just gonna call that another blue wizard. Um, this figure was on the pad wall at some point, I remember when, last year, or 2023, or maybe even 22, uh, but I did pick one up. Um, Magisto right there in the middle came with the gift of purchase that I've modded here. And then this is the Dragon Wizard, which I thought was I got from one of the small sets I picked up a while back. So that would be perfect to include him in the scene along with the, um, the Dragon Warrior there. So... That is kind of his escort over for this little meeting here of the wizards to talk about things. Perhaps the impending doom from the other side of the realm. <laughs> you can also see we got the Lion Knight folks kind of on guard here at their little barracks, their tower. Oh, <laughs> there's Brother Mike still walking around or still traveling around with that mead. He's just been around for a long time walking around supplying the realm, I think. Um, I did switch around the, the small, um, gristle mill there, the windmill, and the, um, the forestman hideout space. I thought it actually looked a little bit better, kind of in tandem with the castle there. It's kind of a more of a natural transition in a way. Yeah, it's not perfect because of how those two line up, but I feel like that actually works a little bit better. Pathways aren't perfect, again, because these are different plates and I've moved them around setting up different scenes. So just kind of logistically, yeah, you would think that that path would lead on to the main street here. Of course, we've got the Lion Knight Castle. The scene really hasn't changed here since I put it in, just because it's honestly very hard to reach. But you can see there's some Black Falcon emissaries coming up to talk to the Lion Knight folks at this castle. And of course, we've got the Lee Inn and the Dreams Village here in tandem. I still love this scene. I think it's really cute. It just fits right to me. The Inn, of course, inspired by the Guardian's Inn from many years ago. My own take and flavor on it. And then we got the little bathhouse in there. <laughs> Remember, there's a lot of action going on inside here, but not easy to get to anymore. Um, of course, in the blacksmith shop down at the end of the road here. We also still have that jousting tournament forever, forever going on, which the king apparently has been watching forever. <laughs> They're still going at it. Those folks haven't moved. <laughs> Church still in place. That service still going on apparently also for many, many months. Um, I was just reminded recently that it's now been basically about a year since I built this, um, this model. Still one of my favorite parts about the realm. Although I have many things I really like about this, of course. So many great parts of it. Of course, moving along. Forestman kind of co-fabbing here. Chatting. Over the river. 
for the marketplace. We got a couple more Black Falcon Scouts. Kind of wandering around, maybe going to get some things at the marketplace. Let's see what's going on here. Marketplace, one of my favorite scenes. Lots of action, lots of scenes, lots of busy just going on here. Great set of buildings, the shops and all that stuff. I really love how it just blends in here. Now, granted, there are some major rumors at this point that in March of 2024, there will be a Lego set that will be in Medieval Market. Um, I'll probably have to get it. I don't know what I'm going to do with that compared to this, because honestly, I'm very fond of these builds. It, I spent a lot of time on that project, a couple months if I recall, and I'm just really thrilled with how it looks. So I'm inclined to keep those in there and see if I can do some other stuff, but we'll see. Moving along here, um, one of the big things I need to do still is kind of re kind of revamp this entire setup of this entryway, this gateway up to the Black Falcon Fortress. I feel like just the rock work and all that, this stuff takes up too much room for what I need here um, in terms of space and all that. So I may revamp this to use some other techniques um, coming up in the next month or two here. Also, because I want to make room for one other plate right here, 16 by 32, to have a setup for some of the military and artillery for the Black Falcon stuff, like training grounds. I think that's kind of what I want to do there. And then this plate right here will be the other part of the battle between the Black Falcons and all the orcs. You can actually see I've even put more in place in there since the last time. I found this great figure right here. <laughs> this amazing head. Yeah, bricks and minifigures in Chicago. And I popped him in there just because I thought it'd be fun. I popped like that ice princess, another orc that I found here. And then, very recently, the harpy from the CMF 25. I thought it'd be fun to pop the harpy in there, flying around. Maybe it's the inspiration of the evil wizard um, to wreak more havoc on the battle that's expected to take place right here. So this scene is the big one to come, setting up that battle. I have lots of Black Falcon figures I have yet to use, so I want to set that up. I might have to tweak the scene a bit, since I've got more room here, and maybe make that plate full out, just all set up for battle. Move these trees over to another side plate right here, just kind of mask between the two scenes. I think I'll have to do that as well. Um, but as you can see, yeah, there's a lot going on. This space is almost done. I'm just gonna get these last couple of scenes in place. I'm gonna set up some more little things around the realm, but I'm close to having this done as a diorama from my perspective. I have put a ton of time and work into this since about um, mid-2022. I love where I've gone with it. I've done so many unique things, supplemented by some great sets. Yeah. Yeah, really good. I think that's about it for now. All right, and that's going to do it for the December 2023 Medieval Realm update. A lot of great stuff going on here. So many great little scenes. Again, this is not meant to be a comprehensive unified scene this is a diorama of lots of different little things going on to give the impression of, of a more unified realm i just don't have the space to make this truly unified as i ideally would like to but i think it's really come out so well i'm very happy with this lots of great stuff all around as always i want to thank you for watching i do appreciate it if you have be sure to follow me over on twitch at brooks bricks where i do weekly live streams and build all this great stuff with a lot of great folks Thank you for support over there. And also, if you haven't, be sure to subscribe here as well. Hit that like button, notification bell, comment, thought below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, from the realm, see you, bye.